Amazing, right? I'm very proud. Like, took a lot of effort. Be right back. Hello. Start scene is crazy nice, right? I'm also very, very proud of it. Okay, don't delete it. We need, we need to save that for later. I mean, hello. Hey, everyone. I hope you're doing well. bite of the screen. No, but I was looking for the Schrumpfschlauch and look what I found. This five inch as well, yes, I found another Vocor. I don't know why I have a standalone Vocor. Eh, it's warm in here. No, Amazon was quick. Um, got the parts in this morning. Strange to not have a talk back. Uh, YouTube works, Twitch apparently works. Still need to somehow. Oh, that's fun. Hey, Hugo. Hola. Maybe we'll make the chat a tiny bit bigger, biggerer. <clears throat> um, yeah, I got the glue, and look what I found. Wait. So we don't even have fast glue or super glue. We have super fast glue. <clears throat> and Schrumpfschlauch. Yay. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the right size. I found the other ones uh, like two minutes after I ended the stream, of course. Need to turn on my du -du -du -dum, my du -du -du -dum, you know. Uh, rig aux, yes. Uh, we don't need the rig right now. Ah, so much better. Got one of those, like Hugo, you recommended that to me. The Vornado fans. Best fans. EU West. <sighs> also best, best. Will it focus? Maybe if I hide my face. Slightly overexposed. <laughs> we have the Schrumpfschlauch. What is the, what is the English name for Schrumpfschlauch? Shrinking tube. Oh yeah, I have nine plus notifications in Discord. Um, okay, we need the wheel. Let the chaos begin. <laughs> we have to solder a lot today. 
I love soldering. I don't know if you if you know that. Uh, yeah, with tools, it's definitely more. Um, first of all, we will measure. Where did I put the mess? The sheep lehrer. Here's the sheep lehrer. Twenty twenty four. Twenty four for the spacer. Because this needs to clear this thing here. Maybe we'll do 15 and 10 so we can see if 15 works. Paul can read. Audio not in sync? Oh, yeah. <coughs> we don't have any delay today. Yeah. Then we can go to 30. Better now? Check, check, check. Thanks, Rookie. Yeah, yesterday, like, I don't know, the Black Magic Capture card is amazing, but it likes to add random latency. Um, so I had to compensate. I had to compensate for that yesterday. Um, <clears throat> but today we are good. Thanks for the hint. I appreciate it. Wait, we don't. Why did I say 24? Somebody remember 24 millimeter for the spacer. But first we'll do, no, I think first we will actually do the spacer. Okay, wait, fusion. Is there anything top secret here? Hello? Mm. Summer cube spacer, no. QR? It has this weird date thingy. Okay, I think. But then I cannot read chat. Oh. Well, we can just hide chat here for now. <coughs> uh, we need a f 15. What is this? Five. Jeez. Okay, we'll add another 10. Fifteen point one. Nah. Hello. Why can I not edit this? Ah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen. Good. I can't read chat like this. That sucks. Oh, no. What did I move? Chat. Here. Chat over your face. Okay, so we need this. Export. That will be the spacer 15 millimeter Pokor. How do you write that? Pokor knee. And then we need another 10 millimeter version without this thing, though. But I think it doesn't matter because then I can still use it for something else if I want to. Yeah. And then mesh, yes. Ten. 
Marcelo. If Dan can do fusion, anyone can. Exactly. Um, but... Oh, should be fine. Like this, this here is to, to insert the cable pretty much. Probably a bit big for a normal USB cable, but we don't need like a, a Zug Entlastung. What is that in English? Strain relief? No, it's correct. 10. <coughs> okay. Dude, the mouse doesn't work on the on the felt pad. And the ten. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Point three millimeter is fine. We'll do like thirty percent infill. Um maybe four walls, four top, four bottom. Uh, no, three is fine. Let's make five walls. That is one and a half hours. Mm, but maybe we'll add a brim. Yeah. We are printing at point three, then four walls are definitely good enough. Abstimmung set twenty seven. What? Now this is uh, printing at what? Do I have the... At 300. I don't want to make it too loud because like if we print at 500, you will probably hear it in the microphone and it can just print in the background. So that's fine. One and a, didn't I reduce the wall numbers? Only one wall for roofing. Whatever. <coughs> Run printing. Um, we printed on the K1. Uh, wait, did I? This filament is uh, a little. Yeah, 55. Orders for this kind of wheel are no, I don't think so. You can you can buy the hyper as a fully assembled wheel. What printer? I have a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, an Ender 3KE, and a an K1 Max. I prefer the K1 Max. I think it. I don't know. It's it's the best compromise between volume and print quality. More walls? Nah, at point three, four is enough. It will like, it's just like a spacer. There's no structural anything on there. Yeah, I do have PLA plus, but it's pretty old. So um, if the filament is too old, I've, I think the build plate adhesion isn't as great anymore. Anyways, this one click printing. 
I hope it's not too loud. Oh, I didn't clean the bed. Should be fine still. <coughs> okay, while this is doing things, we'll take this wheel further apart. Do you hear it in the background or is it okay? I hope it's not too loud. Unfortunately, you can hear my voice over it. You should. Uh, you can try M. That should. Uh, that should remove it all. Copper. <laughs> okay. So what is this here for? Oh, there's another nut. Great. Three kilogram reels. Holy moly. Yeah. Well, I don't print a lot, so. That is nuts, right? We don't have a badumts button. Damn it. I'll... What do I need? Uh, sim racing, DIY, hyper, manual. Why don't you use the Hercules on that setup? I use the Wave XLR. I like the Wave XLR. Um, we'll have to remove the encoders anyways. We'll do the soldering properly. Where is it? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 10 millimeter. No, then I have to remove the... That was, was not exactly the most smart thing in the world. We'll switch to the other cam when the prints start. I want to see if the first layer prints fine. And I can only see chat on my OBS. Yeah, I know. Okay, that is removed. What is printer dude doing? What's the temperature? Okay, he has its temperature now. He, maybe it's a she. Did I just, did I just assume the printer's gender? Uh, wait, Twitch chat here.
Okay. Oops, no, not food. <laughs> okay. What filament? Yes, I I use filament. Can confirm. I don't know. Ah, it's on the back side of the printer. louder at least for me let me know if the music is too loud yeah the k1 max is awesome it's my favorite printer what is this maybe it's in here what is this I do have a bamboo, the, the X1 Carbon, but I somehow like the K1 Max works a bit better for me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm printing PLA, PLA Plus. How long does the print usually last? Or well, longer than me? <coughs> it's plastic, it lasts forever. If you don't abuse it. Screws did I use here on the back? These here. Also have to remove clutches and shifters again. Okay, print is looking good. We can switch maybe to this one here. Um, Chat is somewhere else. Okay, it's there. Today we unfortunately have to do a lot of annoying stuff. No. I got the carbon fiber, the front glass from Pokorni. And w I found magnets, by the way. So now, 
Now it's a proper shifter. Hey David, oh, it's going good, how are you? Did you see? No rain in Imza this week. Now I don't want to drive it anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm ruined now. I cannot I cannot drive anymore when there's no rain. Uh the Creality Ender 3 SE for example. Oh, I just, I, I hate soldering. That's the thing, you know. I just don't love it. Suzuka was amazing, especially with the, with the, the races where the track dried up and strategy. I, I just absolutely loved it. Not sure what I'll do this week. Okay, I did forget the screws in here. The bamboo... Uh, what is the name? A4 or something? No, what's the name of the cheap bamboo? I haven't tried it, but I've I've seen good reviews of it. No, this um shit. Um It's all the same screw size, right? Oh. This is a mix of carbon fiber and this is 3D printed. And what we have to do is add a little drop of glue to these nuts because they they are not perfect, not a perfect fit as you can see here for example. Like the it's the thing with 3D prints, like it doesn't sit in, in there very well. So we will add a little bit of glue to hold it in place. What the hell? Looks dangerous. What is this? And shoes. What glue did I buy? <clears throat> uh, I bought the recommended nuts, so... Waterproof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do this. How much? Uh, 600 to 750 ish, I'd say. See how well this works. Oh, very well. Bit too well, actually. This will definitely glue the screw in place. Okay. Well, 
I have to remove the screws for that, I guess. Oh, this will be fun. This will be fun. Metal chassis, I think they are working on a metal version of the body. Just leave the screws. Uh I think it should be fine from my initial tests, but yeah, we'll see once the wheel is fully built. Oh god, this glue doesn't smell very good. Get a screw. Oh no, it's held in by the by the dings, you know. Um <laughs> very good flowing glue shouldn't have drank coffee lol we'll see how well this works if I can tighten the stuff a bit better Flows a bit too good. Oh, it smells much, much better than the chair. It's just super glue. Smells like super glue smells <coughs> yeah little little drip there it's fine and shifters next since it's not very 
stable. Where's the guitar pick? There it is. Who needs a guitar pick when you have a desk? This is actually nice. Why glue? Because those little bolts are a bit um, easy to turn, uh, to, to move. And you don't want those fall out while driving. <laughs> exactly, to avoid misshifts. No. Freaking magnets. No. No. <laughs> well, we now have this. I'll deal with this when the when the glue is dry. <laughs> hmm, I have glue on my hands. I wonder what the gloves are for. She is eye shifters. Uh, wait, what was that? LLL. Alien Wushi, thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate it. 47 months. Of course I am. Of course. For the clutches, I th think. Wait, do we have to remove? Is this the right magnet size by any chance? I just found these magnets and I'm like, I, I mean. It does fit in there. So I guess that's a good sign then. Pivot adapters, zero play. For the arms. Mm. How am I supposed to mount this in place? Also with glue? I guess. I don't know. We need to t see uh, if we need a specific orientation of this but it drops in there just fine so we'll add a glue here as well both sides just to stop the pin from coming out it's not necessary But since we bought all the glue, gotta use it for, for something, you know? Yeah. We'll see. G 
glue all the things. Exactly. Okay. I think that's it, what we have to glue for now. How do we remove this without making a giant mess? I don't know. Uh, exclamation mark price. We will make a giant mess. I'll get some more, what, eye racing update? Okay, some more paper. this will not be reusable because it will just like dry up <coughs> okay I hope that's it with the glue I should have used the gloves <laughs> my fingers are a little glued now uh, I bought most of the parts from AliExpress mainly like screws and, and things like that all the electronic parts, most stuff from, uh, where did I buy it? Digikey. Hey! Michael, thanks for the rate. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome everyone. Today we're doing something a bit different. We are actually building a wheel. Okay, so... This doesn't have any magnets now. <laughs> we'll just put this away for now. No, I need the switches, damn it. Should have should have removed it before. Sometimes it helps to think. No, this is a Pokorny wheel. stuff why didn't you grab the free roadcaster what <laughs> I should have removed the switches before putting on the glue. Eh? Okay, but I don't know how to start Doom. 
printer cam? Isn't that boring as hell? What is the printer doing right here? I guess I could. Wait, video? No, I... No, I can't. Wait, let's try. No, what did I do? Not my face. Display capture. Um. Here we go. Like that. Okay. So all this stuff we'll put somewhere else so I can dry. Okay, so next thing we need to do is uh, wire up those encoders and switches. Yay. Okay, so these are those screws, these are those screws. Here's the manual, here's the manual. Cable length recommendation was, I think, 200 millimeters for, what, no length? Cable lengths. Side encoders, 200 as well. I think these aren't 200. These are 190, unusable. These here are one. Oh, these are already in nice. Noise, 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 noise. Streaming the manual. No, uh, Balash said it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Smells like glue in here. Maybe I should open the window. I'll do that. Dude, it's so freaking nice outside. Already was in the woods. Colors. 
What? Oh. Cannot have this open. Colors are irrelevant. Okay, what do we have to wire up? My recommendation, always put this stuff on before you start doing pretty much anything. Because you will forget it. Believe me. You will forget it. It's like you just soldered the most annoying connector in the world. You're like, oh my god, it's finally done. And then you look at it and you forgot the freaking things. Uh, I've streamed it all up and down, so I think we have three hours in. I guess if you do it without streaming and with actually preparing yourself, you can probably build the whole thing in four to five hours, I would assume. It's not much. TS ADP like 45. I think I paid around 80 for mine, but. Um, oh. I guess directly from Ali will be significantly cheaper. I got mine from Amazon, which will obviously be more expensive. Two more. Just hot glue it like fat. <laughs> uh. And then sell it to someone and never ship it. Wow. Okay, four switches, three dings. You know, three dings. Okie dokie, I don't know, like, what does C and O normally open and C normally closed, I guess. But which one do we need? It's wired up in the firmware. Huh? Switch. This here is confusing. Why do I have four encoder inputs? Oh, the PCB has two more rotary encoder inputs than needed. Okay, so this is the USB. Encoders. Ah, switches. Normally open, okay. C and no. Copy.
Holy shit, this is uh, gross. <laughs> Let's do the switches first. Luckily not visible at all. Right? Problem solve it. Uh, what one do we use? Oh wait, no, no glasses today, so we'll use, we'll go skiing. Safety first. No, honestly, like, I once had solder in my eye cannot recommend at all so if you ever thought about trying that yeah i would i would advise advice against it Which, so it doesn't matter which which pin is which. Shouldn't have drank any coffee. Can't see it properly here. This is the TS-80 P. The cool thing is it even works on a... Why is the standby enabling all the time? on a normal USB port. Could I power this off my iPhone? No! Unusable. <laughs> I was just curious. Uh, the iPhone has power output. You can charge stuff with it. But I guess um, not a soldering <laughs> Unusable. Android is better. Right? There we go. Andrio. The new operating system made by the French company Gogle called Andrio. We. Oui. <clears throat> 
Dude, like I need need to figure alerts for this out. I don't have very good 3D seeing, that doesn't help with soldering. Like, my one eye is a bit worse than the other one. So the brain be like, yeah, let's not use this one. Um, and because of that, I don't see, like, in the 3D space like this very well. Heilige Makrele. Come on! Solder already. Yeah, it's like my left eye is minus uh, 0 0.75 sphere, I think that is. And my right eye is minus 3.5. I mean, it's both not terrible, but enough for the brain the brain for the brain to just like basically not use that one eye which is no problem at all holy shit who soldered that but especially when you're doing this tiny soldering shit it's it's not an advantage Let, let's put it like that um encoders the goggles yes always always wear safety uh, goggles when soldering really honestly like just do it it I've had solder flux in my eye it, it like hurt like hell for like two days um, what is the wiring for the encoders uh, how is it on the board here? A is what? The... In our case, A is yellow and B is red. A is yellow, B is red. I mean, it doesn't matter, like... You can, you can solder it on there the other way around we'll just trigger a different button number then but uh, doesn't hurt to make it uh, in the same order only thing you need to be careful is that the the ground pin is the correct one I typically don't notice it except for when soldering oh. a bigger watch but this already is the biggest size
What is this shit? Hey Simon, I'm doing very good. Hope you too. Watches need to be big, otherwise it looks stupid. So, Chris, huh? That would just be the logical thing. All right. <coughs> what else do we need? Uh, USB. <coughs> I will put in the connector and then use a short cable into the QR. That's that's the plan. So this will go into the wheel and this is the cable. be okay found one for USB I guess we want 10 centimeters Roughly here. In the bin. <laughs> hey, Dennis. USB, we have okay. what are the USB color codes? I always forget that. USB color code white, white is data minus. Okay, so white will be minus, yellow will be plus. Red is ground and black is 5 volt. Hmm. Do we do the right thing and uh, change? No, we don't do the right thing. Like typically red would be 5 volts and black would be um, ground. But can't be asked. Yeah, right? Makes sense. These are pre-made cables, so I'm not changing the colors now. I don't want to. 
Guys, I don't know if I talked about that yet. But I hate soldering. Just in case you were wondering, does Dan like soldering? No. But I'm so proud of myself for using the Schrumpfschlauch. Yeah. Like for me, all soldering is a pain in the ass, to be honest, but oh well. Um, what do they recommend for the pinning? Du, 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 du. I mean, in the end, it's, it's like whatever. You can use whatever you want. But we'll just follow this because then I can look it up in the manual. One. This where? Here. Top left. Also, we before if you do USB, you always want to drill the data lines because that freaking data signal is a little annoying. But how do I... <laughs> we'll figure something out. Okay, so... One... Oh, there are the colors. Oh well. So four is black. Oh. is red. Four is black. Uh, B minus is what in my case? White. And white. White is white. Okay. Good. Good. I think that's most of the soldering done, right? So four is um, four is black in my case. Three is red. Yep. Okay. Good. 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 Why is... There we go. <laughs> we are not fan attack, okay?
All right. Wait, we are done soldering. We can get rid of the of the goggles. Encoder next. Hello. Why are you no fit? No, I like to use the hot glue gun. Oh, doing it in the middle of the... Lighting up the cameras. I need a bit more space. Yeah, DIY rarely saves you money. You, I think DIY is if you want to learn something, if you have fun doing this stuff, then it makes sense. But it rarely... Like, don't do it to save money. Like... Oh, shit. <laughs> Who did that soldering? Horrible. Horrible. Just fill the entire thing with hot glue. I mean, that would, would work. Hey, regular Joe. Hey, Botrix. don't heat them up for too long because they don't like that. They really don't like getting warm. Dude, like, how did I cut these schrumpfschlauchs? Ow. Hot. Huh? I just reached my step goal. Makes sense. Good. it with soldering opium um Dry, blue is dry. Good, good, <laughs> great. 
How many magnets do you want? All of them. Yeah, that, that turned out very nice. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So put one extra magnet on the on the main shifters. Wait, which are the main shifters? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll just add it later. But I think we will add which screws? These screws here, and hope we can tighten them bet betterer now. Shifters are also 3D print. Oh. Okay, so ideally, none of the nuts fall out. Success. And I can tighten them. Woohoo! Great success. Good. Where's my Zumzi mit Po? Yeah. <sighs> Where did you get the three print stuff from? Uh, I got everything from JLC. Threads here on this one. Hey, Bobster. <laughs> I need to play more guitar again. Guitar playing stream soon, Kappa. Problem is, the, when I play guitar, I get gas and buy random guitar stuff again. I already buy so much other random stuff. This will not... Yeah, too much glue in the threads. Feels the GSI, man. <laughs> oh, this worked very well here. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I need, uh, uh, more soldering. Damn it. Always need another paddle. Yeah. Luckily I'm I like the digital stuff. And paddles I just built myself. Uh-oh. Okay, this one. Did not work very well. Pretty much did the opposite. Oh well.
nearly all of the soldering. I forgot the buttons on the back. Don't show this anyone. <coughs> okay, so one. Not good. No, I think this is like... Yeah. I can build this in four to five hours. Faster if you don't pay any attention. Or like, want to make it good, then you can build it faster, definitely. Total cost, like around... It depends how much you do yourself, how much you order. 600 to 750 euros is what I would say. Oh, perfect. The nut still... Like the glue made the nut grab. There was just too much glue in the threads here, so... In the bin. Good, that's the back enclosure done. I also got some alcohol. No, not alcohol, isopropanol. Smells interesting. Better than the seats. Seat, seat. Um, what's next? More soldering. Fuck my life. No, no shrink tube on these ones though. Dude, why, why? Are these cables all so long? Where do these plug in? I know why, so you can still like somehow handle this thing. Okay, ski goggles. Yeah, I mean like the shipping definitely takes quite some time. Like I would calculate with four weeks is probably realistic. I got everything in about two weeks. Um but yeah. DFU, what? Oh, didn't press the button again. You can flash a custom firmware on the soldering iron. And imagine uh, using a soldering iron without a custom firmware. Look, who would do that? Mmm, solder fumes. Yummy. White glasses. Uh, safety. You don't want solder in your eyes. Trust me, I've had it in my eyes.
would definitely, definitely not recommend. anymore so we'll just put it on the floor <sighs> okay I think it's time to read the manual Yeah, that's the spacer that's being printed right now. The Simulcube 2 program is also available for Simulcube 1. Is it? Are you sure? Oh, there was a question. What program? You mean True Drive? in Hungary. Yes, it's 70 millimeter. Um, the 3D printed part, uh, the 3D prints do not hold any of the structural parts. It's all in these thick spacers. And, and the very thick carbon fiber backplate. I have programmed the PCB, yes. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't fit in here. Is it hard? Very hard, yeah. You you uh, connect the program adapter and then you click program. Super, super hard to do that. Not many have the greatness to be able to do that. It's 
really, really, really complicated. Yeah, only smart people can do it. Uh, no Arduino, it's an STM32. Do not judge. Okay, that's a USB cable. And I think then we need, what's the order of the shifters? Like this, okay. Oh wait, we need to. install the switches actually <laughs> you're judging <laughs> damn it uh, I don't want to drill a hole in the carbon fiber it's not great. And since I probably will not be using this, but selling the wheel, uh, people don't have the Dan QR. So we'll, we'll just run a short cable from here into the QR. That's the plan. Or maybe we'll just auction this thing off for a good cause. Where did I put all the switches? <coughs> music out. No, music just quiet. Maybe I'll do that. Why? I mean, you drilled the hole in the middle of the 70 millimeter, no? And not somewhere else, I assume. If you didn't, then you should feel bad. <laughs> Even I don't have a uh, FBE V2 here, like a production version. The good cost dance bank account. <laughs> Why not just have the original 
in there. That's what I did on my Hyper. Connect it internally and just leave the, the old connector in there. <laughs> nice. Good. That's the shifters done. I would say we shall install them. Um, I think it's like this. This will be a giant pain in the ass. Yeah, that looks clean. But like, what does Maglink have to do with GSI? Oh wait, or are you the one that that put Maglink on every wheel? something I don't really understand. You still need a cable. How do you set up colors for the buttons? Sim up, yes. Why are these screws not magnetic? Latency on YouTube should be better today. We are streaming 1440p today. I think, I hope. At least that's what I intended to do. Hey Kevin. Yep, all MJF. Uzo knows more about this project than me. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. If you're interested in this, I think you're, you're doing like, you're looking for people that also want to buy the wheel. Uzo, right? Like build the wheel to make PCBs cheaper and stuff. Join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. There's a channel called Hyperbuild, I think. 
and make sure to ping Kuzo if you're interested in that. The more people want the PCB, the cheaper it gets. So, if you're interested. Also, like, if, if you want to build it, if you need help, we have a channel on the Discord where people can talk about it and everything. So, yeah. If you just want to chat about it, if you don't feel like you can do it and need some help. Um, yeah, well, you get the idea. <laughs> So we will angle this thing as upward as possible and then tighten it. Oh, it's, it's, it's fun and it's also easy to do in these more downward. Like, I'm... I, I'd say everybody can build this. Like the most difficult part is like buying all the parts in China, to be honest. And even that is not exactly difficult, it's just annoying. But like if you can operate a screwdriver and a soldering iron, I mean, if you can't operate a soldering iron, then you just learn how to operate a soldering iron. Not difficult. How does the shifter feel? Pretty good. It's not like oh, the three print is done. It's not the best shifter in the world. It's a three D printed shifter, um, but they feel good. I mean, if you want to, you can build these with uh, GSI shifters or Usher shifters or something else. But I mean, obviously, there will be some play in here, as you can see. But it's it's not. Nothing that is really like noticeable while driving. <clears throat> okay, so then we can remove this. And we need to install the clutches. Usher, yes. I mean, obviously, of course, you want to use GSI shifters and not Usher. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Usher shifters also are good. Nah, like there are sh there are aluminum shifters that have the same amount of play. It's it's more than okay. If I paid like 2,000 euro for the wheel and I would get shifters like that, I probably would not be amused. But considering that these are 3D printed shifters, it's perfectly fine. need to put in the glue in the magnet for the clutches but I first need to see if they need like a certain direction because this is apparently like a uni porno porno uni polar not porn <laughs> um, hall sensor uh, GSI shifters are switches <laughs> Eventually we'll move to hall sensors, but that's like maybe in two years or so. Okay, the last thing we need to install are the encoders. That's like a little, a little pain in the ass. 
but just a little. Looks like I forgot a random standoff here. 3D print a graphic card. I'm not sure about that. FBE is not a wireless wheel, no. Where's the other one? There. Oh. No. What am I doing? Jesus. The grips are silicon. Mm, I don't have that, so I don't think so. I don't have the Cube Controls F Pro, uh, but I think so. The the older Cube Controls scripts are super super hard, right? <sighs> okay, great. Prints are done. Fits. Wait. 
Is this enough to clear it? Mm. Nope. But this is maybe a bit too much. Wait, I have also some in the box. Where did I put the other one? Is it somewhere here in the chaos? Kabelsalat, aber hallo. Oh, these are too long though. Maybe the but why are these? quickly see I, if I have screws like this just not a how do you call these in English focus hello uh, not these I don't know the name I don't. <coughs> countersunk. We'll just use the countersunk screws. Huh? Music died. But didn't I have like one spacer that was a bit thinner than this one here? That I nearly... I do. Hey, hey, hey. Very, very old QR on here. Ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. We'll use these, uh, but I need to replace them. It's not, not ideal, but and carbon fiber is also not a big deal. Or are these actually too sh too? No, oh, should be fine. Should be fine. Deal. 
should have made the holes a bit bigger. Uh, the site does not sell all the parts, but they give you a bomb where you can buy all the parts. They sent two screws of this length or what? Yes, nice. And now? <laughs> ah. Yeah, you get like a, a list with everything that you need to buy and where you can buy it. It's really, it's very simple. I should have made the holes a little bit bigger. No, DIY is never, well not never, but I mean, is there a wheel comparable to this that you can actually buy for less money? Maybe Sim Magic. I will, I will never recommend DIY just to save money because That's not really the main thing. elegant solution in the world. Is this enough threads? It's fine, I guess. Um, it's to be like this. definitely buy the correct length screws flat hat and replace that this will do the job for now but it's just not ideal let's put it like that oh yeah yeah this one here is really really tight
this file is empty. I don't know. How do you manage to get power from the base side to your custom quick release? Uh, cable, uh, USB data, and power gets injected by a cable. It's just on the base side. The hub, yes. Don't worry, like we don't screw into the hub. It's just a spacer, not really a hub. one I didn't like it it is definitely made for the tiniest of tiny hands like I don't know maybe it would even be too small for quark induction mm. you could but like you still need the data and I don't think a cable is annoying like at all I think the annoying part is that you have to exchange cables 2,000 times when switching wheels. But if you have one cable that you can install on the base side and you never have to change it, not a big deal in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, like, I definitely have issues with my wheel collection. <laughs> okay. Hey, Red Weasel. How's it going? Uh, I bought pretty much all I could from Pokorni, like the carbon fiber parts, the glass. Didn't buy the PCB there. Um, okay, and now we can just... Maybe I should have done this before, but yeah. We basically will go through here into the QR and then connect it here. Like I said, I don't plan on keeping this wheel, so I don't want to make it only be able to use my QR. Um, yeah. USB slip rings are not super reliable. I've tried a few. They are insanely expensive. They are not very reliable. They will not last forever. Uh, I think a cable is, is the best solution. All right, I think that's actually... Dude, it's so much stuff. <laughs> um, that's all on this side. We will glue on the vocal properly this time though. Um, Scissors, I need scissors. Close enough. Where's the display though? Where did I put the display? There's the display. <laughs> Mm. 
No, soldering is very, very easy. Like in general, building this thing is easy. Old Volcor, yes. Horrible, huh? Who uses that? Did you test the Volcor? I did. It doesn't work? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know yet what I'll do with it. I wanted to just sell it for whatever I paid for it. But maybe we'll make an auction out of it. And then uh, give away the money for a good cause. I don't know yet. Let's see. Nothing, I removed it again. It was a bit too thick, the hot glue. <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> Maybe. Is GSI's career over? Who knows? Should have bought bigger tape, copper. Stuff. This glues very well. Unusable has the hot glue is a bit too thick. Protective layer? What? For what? No. Then the touch screen doesn't work. At my old job we had a funny application, like we needed to work to have a touch screen that works through five centimeter thick 
uh, glass. That was interesting because it was like an X application, like explosion, blah, blah. I will definitely put this on crooked. Eh, whatever. I mean, if we if we give this away, I will ha not have to use it. Kappa. Hey, perfect. Perfetto. I will never be able to remove this display again. Eh. Okie dokie. <laughs> Do I have an angled USB cable? Maybe. I saw I have another one in here. For whatever reason. But where? It is angled. Moist. That's for the screen, yep. Oh, but like this? Ah, we use the other one. Kind of angled into the wrong direction. Look, where's the case? Where's the case? That's probably a pretty good solution actually for this cable. This uh, this Volcor uses USB and not like a small connector. Yeah, Freddy, but like um, that would have to be like part of the display. Can I use alcohol to clean the display, or will I not have a display after that anymore? Okay, I guess now starts the freaking annoying part, sorry. So, we have clutch one. Sorry. Is that loud? I don't hear it. I have the talkback disabled, copper. Oh, really? I need to change the pins on this. <coughs> I did not pay attention there. Glass cleaner.
Do I have to remove them all? Yes. Okay. So we do have this here in the middle and then three volt um, next to it. And ground on the bottom. I did follow, I just, I didn't pay attention. I just like used logical colors for this. we did pay attention to the other ones. Elevator music, I know, right? It's great, huh? like push the cable to in this side then grab uh, some pliers or so no how do you call this move the plastic up it's a little bit annoying like this is cheap shit connectors like normally they have a little nose on the plastic that you can pull up on this one it's not available so it is slightly annoying. But you can remove these pins. In theory. Come on. There we go. Okay, ground here. Just got to make sure that it still uh, has enough. Sometimes you need to pull up that metal tap again. Not in this case here. I think we got lucky. Just as I said it. start with how do I do it so you can see it okay so encoder uh, encoder all sensor one and hall sensor two I should read the manual if I need to still do anything. I'm sure we don't, right? Okay, what's next? Encoders, where do they connect? Here, at the top. Okay. Let's use this one. And this one. What, what, why? Then the USB goes in here. 
And now we just have 2,000 switches. Switch, 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 switch. Okay. So we'll do this. Doesn't matter which one you connect where. It's just a switch, so... The only difference it will make is the, the in-game uh, joystick button number. Okay, this is a little bit annoying. That could be worse. Could be a GSI wheel that you need to open. <laughs> Uh, one day I'll get fired. <laughs> I should have actually tested the board before properly. Oh, which pedals did you did you buy? <laughs> exactly. Enabling the firmware mode that makes all GSI wheels stop working. to that grizzle wheel by the way wasn't there supposed to be like a grizzle button box good everything fits just these cables here maybe pull them a bit down finished like almost an hour ago okay okay now I quickly need the manual like because we have this yeah connect the GX12 USB connectors side encoders rear buttons shifters I mean I can show this wait um, screen this is how the manual looks like pretty much Place the button light guides on the PCB as shown below. Where are the PCB light guides? It's really like everybody can do this. Like, don't be afraid. If you're interested in this project, like the manual is really, really, really good. <coughs> okay, like this, I can read the manual and I can read chat. Win-win. Perfect. Um, where's my box of chaos? There's the box of chaos. I think I read that it's better to have these not white but in black. So maybe. Why do these look different? Oh no, this broke. That's why. 
of <coughs> F. Uh, you know what? We'll actually go and print those. So let's go screen, prepare. We can delete this. Open. Mm. Sim racing, no, not Steuer. DIY, hyper, 3D print. Uh, wait. RB, RT. Oh, it's not broken, but still, I think it was. Uh, it was said that it's better if this stuff is black. No, not auto. Well, actually makes sense though, how he... This thing is actually smart. What? Okay. Do we risk it without a brim? <laughs> Probably better not, huh? Twenty minutes. Holy m brim! This will be a pain to remove. We'll try it without. Or what do you think, Chad? I'm not. Biggest 3D printing expert. Should we try? I think we try. This probably makes sense. I don't want support though. This can look like shit. No support, thank you. I guess we'll try. But it's really, really... Doesn't need exact fit on the overhang parts. No. And this is not a lot of overhang. I mean maybe here. Still better than than should be fine. Confirm offline, your face is offline. And the engineer. <laughs> Maybe I should. PLA plus. Huh. Do we think I used the same pinning on this one here? 
<coughs> Haw. Oh. <laughs> what is this here? Oh, it's the 3D printer. Uh, scanner. Totally. I would say maybe the data is inverted at least it does turn on but uh, no usb connection but i guess five volt and ground is correct but i just like randomly used to connect uh, uh, things the uh, things you know But even if it's that thin, what is he doing here right now? Not printing. No, like maybe 10 or so. Printer is a K1 Max. But I think first we'll try with the plastic ones. And if there's too much bleed, we can try the, the other ones. not fit insanely well to be honest how's this held down later no they are not broken they are just like white and apparently it's better if you use black ones chat so I can read it. Yes, I uploaded the firmware. should take like 15 minutes or so. No 
more screws. Time to find screws in the chaos. RB F1 Pro. Okay. The K1 Max by Creality. Let's see how he likes that printing without the brim. I don't know. It's very easy to learn basic layout. More settings. I don't even use the settings this has. <laughs> the Williams chair is awesome. Yeah, true. Sometimes it pulls you onto the apron, but apart from that, it's really, really nice. Lose the screw. Shit. <laughs> Instead, lose the freaking light blockers. <laughs> Okay, that's I think all those screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Then we can tighten them. Yeah. I'm one of those people like works? Good. wouldn't really call myself a 3D printing enthusiast. <laughs> it's true. But uh, we're using a different interface here at the desk.
Okay, I think we can switch to the other camera again. Uh, scene, I mean. This one. This one, this one. Okay. What's next? I hope I have enough of this. I probably do. Multicolor or the, the AMS or whatever it's called. System of the Bamboo is decent for that. It takes forever and it produces so much waste, but yeah, it's, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's decent. I used it like two times, was like, oh my god, this is impressive. And then never used it again. It's a DIY project. I didn't design it myself. It's a Pokorny project. It's not really a kit. Um, but, yeah. Oh, there's the, the other screw that I was missing earlier. Thank you so much for nine months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Do the button caps snap onto the buttons? Yes. Okay, what screws should I use? M38, I think. Uh, M3 times 8, yes. Now we will mount the... Oh, Leo X style, directly into the plastic. No, like the Leo X stuff, like I was like... I have the, what is it called? XF1. They have freaking screws directly screwed into the carbon fiber. Like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Took it apart once, uh... Couldn't really get it back together because, like, why would you do that? Just do not over tighten it since it's screw into plastic, so.
Looks great though. Can maybe like add a little layer of little little tape to make it more sturdy, but we'll leave it like this for now. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Also MJF. Why do you not know that? Come on. You know more about this than me. <laughs> Again, if you're interested in building this, join the Discord. We have a community there. The more people that want to build it, the cheaper it gets. Um, exclamation mark Discord. Check out the Hyper Build channel. Okie dokie. So that's that. M3 countersunk. I really need need to buy black screws. Why did I buy silver screws? Did I really buy silver screws? It's like it's not an Usher wheel. We 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 want to use black screws. Um, and we need the little nuts. If we can find them. <laughs> Where is it? Didn't I have it earlier? These are screws. These are... There they are. Yeah, but these are too big. These are M4. I need M3. It's fine. Black edition costs extra, so. Totally not a, a tool that is way too big for the job, but eh. Go big or go home, right? Okay, that is that. Now we mount the standoffs. here for now. Two more.
Update mode. For what? I mean, there are bootloaders for the, I think this is the F-103 chip. But it depends. It does not come with a hardware bootloader. Like, for example, the chip we use at GSI, it comes with the default DFU bootloader. No, oh, there are there are bootloaders for this chip. You just need to put it in the firmware. Okay, that's that. What's next? Insert for rotary inserts. Tomb, okay. Where do I have those? Everything sticker we'll do later. Glue the glass. Now we'll put it together first. by the magnet. Yeah, I need to buy black screws. Just pretend that... Come on, you use an usher wheel, don't you? You're used to silver screws. Okay, I lost one screw in the process. That's stream beats. Copyright free music. I don't know what's going on with the grips. <laughs> because you told me. Somehow this doesn't feel... I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Feels like I'm squishing a cable. Let's just pretend this is a cube control wheel now. Copper. Just, I mean, write your own firmware. Okay. Hmm. 
check out tiny usb that has very good tutorials in it Yes, Kevin. Okay, I need to find one screw. Do I still have spare screws? I do. These ones are also black. <laughs> I can do that. I know how to do USB now. Oh god, it was such a giant pain in the ass to, to learn all that stuff. I was kind of in the same situation as you, Brian, back then. Like, we had problems with the firmware and I basically was like, yep, write the firmware, you have a week. Cool. Cool story, bro. What happens if I wipe this off with, with this... Actually seems to work. Shouldn't you test before closing it? I should, but I don't. <laughs> it's very easy to take apart again, so. Yeah, this, you can clean it with this, apparently. We'll test on the back side, and if it doesn't look like shit tomorrow, I'll do it on the front side as well. Why six? Yeah, I wanted to do eight, but it only supports six. Oh, it actually has eight because of these buttons here. Good. What else? Nothing, I think. Nothing. that I screwed up, as you can see. Or not. <laughs> I had to wire a little. I forgot to attach 5 volt to the USB chip. <coughs> mm, okay. And now? Let's do the stickers. I guess we'll use it tomorrow on stream if it works. I haven't tested anything. But what could possibly go wrong, right? I'm sure this will not work from the get-go. do the testing tomorrow so we'll see how easy it is to get USB to the wheel uh, they do have the hype hyper like they have one that is similar 
that is assembled, I think. But doesn't have like, I don't know. Similar. But I would recommend like, try it, try to build it. It's fun. It's not hard. Maybe you find somebody that builds one for you. Takes about, I'd say, five hours. Five, six hours. <coughs> Yay. How much is the hyper on their website? But that one doesn't have backlit LED buttons, I think, right? Oh, printing. Good good question. Doesn't look like it, it failed. Come on! Cut my nails yesterday it was not a good idea. One point, okay. Well, that seems fair. Looks good. Little bit of stringing. How do you fix that? Can you fix that? I mean, it's not bad, but... No, the TV should not get turned off in five minutes. Where's the remote there? Okay, sticker, 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 sticker. I love applying stickers. Not. Oh, it looks good. First try. Nice. Let's put these on here just slightly. YouTube chat is slower. <laughs> Any chance this is 10 millimeter? It is. Good.
Uh, yes, but the, the white ones. I might replace them with the black ones. Where's the freaking screw? Just do, everybody can learn soldering. Really, it's it's not that hard. I want to hear no excuses here. <laughs> okay. Um. Do I really want to glue this on already? Because then I don't have access to the screws anymore. We'll probably wait with that. Cool. But that is nearly done. Nearly done. You don't need a 3D printer. And then Snake, thank you for becoming a sub. Appreciate it. I should have. This is not smart here what I'm doing. Why? I mean, why not? Not sure I understand the question. Some wheels have six, some wheels have four, some wheels have eight. For example, adjusting brake bias, adjusting ARBs, stuff like that. Yeah, this is not gonna work, I think. No. Hmm. Might have to take out the QR again. Dual clutch is very common. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know.
Okay. Too small. Yes, finally I can solder again. Love it. Should have taken some pictures or something. stuff. Solder, I always wear safety glasses. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I just like, I've had uh, flux in my eyes once and I don't want that happening ever again. It was freaking painful. Come on. 
There we go. I hope this will work. I need to make a proper cable. It's just like quick test. Good, 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 good. Then we need Ultium Designer. Um, screen. Huh? The camera died? Why? Tell me why. <laughs> Battery empty again or what? Kinda. Oh well. Um, base side, board side. No. Wheel side, there we go. And I need a board. Uh, both, both, Miggy. I did study electrical engineering and I work in an area that is about electrical engineering. Okay, last bit of soldering. <laughs> project here, FPE GXL SimOS board, what could that be? Hmm. <coughs> uh, in Mannheim. DH.
too many cables going on here. Okay, soldering done. Skiing done. <clears throat> That's a little board. And then we need connector housing. There we go. Goes in like this. Is this correct or wrong app? Yes, yes. Okay, so five volt is the red one. You little little tight on space here. Then ground is black. Um, and then white was minus. Okay, this plugs in here. Wait, how I look do I look at this right now? Did I just install this the wrong way? So this connects here. I just need to see which direction this goes on the QR. Oh, and where did I put the screws? No. Any chance it's this size screws? There's too much stuff here. Proprietary, what do you mean? Perfect, it's this size screws. The board, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I made it. It works with NRG style QRs. So this goes in like this. Works with Moza QR, Symmetric QR, NRG, uh, the original one, which is a bit more expensive. You can get these QRs for 30 euros. Uh, AliExpress, zero play, very good. Okay, so not the most elegant solution here right now, but for now it'll do the job. I need to make a proper cable, like a black one, but <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I use an NRG mount.
total weight, so it's not a heavy wheel. I can weigh it. Weigh, weigh it. I'll be right back. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm just booting up the rig so we can test this. The stream PC sometimes doesn't like to boot, so uh, I'll be right back. Only takes two years. I, I want to try if I can Alt F4 the OBS on the desk here and then just continue the stream in the rig or if that will freak out everything. But we are going to try it out live. <clears throat> if the stream PC ever boots. So, yeah. Still nothing there over. Maybe nicht gehen kannst nicht. It's true. Aorus, are we we're getting there? Famous last words. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay. I will do that now here. So the stream will go offline for 20 seconds and then maybe come back. If not, well, then you will never find out whether, it's work whether it works or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait.
Okay, we'll try now. Um, OBS, EXA, yes, Junge, and task. Like that, I sh it should work with the same stream, but we'll see. Yeah, the cap. Does it work? Holy shit, this is loud. Hello? Worked? Perfect. Ay, 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 ay. Do we risk it? <laughs> Fire it up. First try. Is it weird that I'm nervous? <laughs> Where's my fire... Uh, fire away making thing? Get the safety goggles. <laughs> Thank you, old man Tater. We'll just... I, I guess nothing will light up. We we are waiting for the dun. -dun. We got the dun. -dun. Sim hop. It should connect as an Arduino. Arduino, my hardware, single Arduino. RGB LEDs. Add effect. Static. Where's static? <laughs> it lives? This works. Heilige Makrela. But the display doesn't. Wait, devices, add new device. Vokor, we. Screen settings. Pog. Oh wait, wrong Simulcube link. Simulcube tuner. <coughs> Started the paddles. We shall try iRacing. Ah, thank you. Wait, Discord. Didn't launch Discord. Update? Really? Re oh my god, what's going on on Discord? Hyper build. Thanks, Ray. Game? Um... Arduino. Import. <laughs> Fancy. But why is this green? Dude, I, I really have to install an iRacing update now. How anticlimactic is this? Playing on this computer, please. Doesn't work. Okay, well, whatever. 
Why though? Because it's muted. Uh, we will just use the... Oh, we can test it in SimHop, actually. Add new source controller. Hyper. Connected. Map. <laughs> hey, what? 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 Wait, we can test it here. What, why does it send four buttons? The clutches will not work. at Hockenheim, yeah, whatever. Feels relatively solid. I mean, there's some flex, obviously, because it's carbon fiber grips. Like, uh, grips mo molded onto the carbon fiber. I think I have it here, pit speed limiter. Brake bias. Uh, it seems to work. Traction control. This works, this works, this works, this works. There's no sound. Uh, I didn't put in the magnets for the clutch, so I can't test it. Holy shit, what's going on with the sound? Sound presented by road. Interface is having issues. 
Um, but yeah, no, it seems to be fine. Uh, there's one issue, I guess, with the matrix that I need to check. Probably a diet that is uh, on the wrong way. That's what I guess, because I get double inputs. Um, but everything seems to be working fine. See here. Um, typically, it's it's one of the, the matrix things. But it's only, only the shifters. Wait, let's go into a, a USB tester that has more buttons. Sim racing, utilities. Uh, joystick tester. The one from Grid is pretty good. Three, four, five. This is all fine. This is fine. Only these are being sent. With multiple inputs. Now that should be a very, very easy fix. Maybe it's a short somewhere, yeah, or maybe it's just like a diode on the board that is, uh, it's, I think it's a matrix wiring on the board. Um, I will just check, wait, what is with these? Yeah, everything that goes to the switches is doing this. I will check. Um, shouldn't be hard to fix, to be honest. But yeah, I, I would say so far it's definitely success. Are, are there uh, schematics available? Definitely a better success than this audio interface. Freaking audio interface. Yeah, that shouldn't be a big problem. What was that sound? That is like uh, the great Roadcaster Pro 2. Gives you sound that sounds like this. Love it. It's a wireless wheel? No, it's... Uh uses my QR that has the USB on the QR. See, here. And then if you connect it, it just uh, sends the signal. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. This is why you do not do matrix wiring. I'm pretty sure this is uh, not a big problem. If I'll, I'll take it apart and see what the problem is. How's the base powered? Uh, I mean, like here, there's a cable that goes to the to the base side. <clears throat> uh, the base is the Simacube 2 Pro. Well, that's awesome. Um, only the switches. I need to figure out why they are doing that. Okie dokie. I mean, that's it pretty much for today. Like, wheel is done. I'll, I'll like the stickers and the glass. I'll, I'll do that um, off stream, I guess. No, I just one STM32. Happy with the result? Yeah, I mean, wheel looks great. It, it feels very comfortable. Um, wait, let me actually 
If I grab a magnet and put it close to the clutches, will <laughs> whether something will happen. Yeah, clutches work. You see the signal? I just need to install the freaking magnets in this direction and then calibrate. Nice! So only only the shifters that I need to check whether they do this funny stuff. Even the sticker is put on nicely. <laughs> and yeah, I think once it's fixed we'll we'll use Oh there's actually something loose inside the wheel. Or well, inside the QR, I guess. Did the screws fall down there? <laughs> Um, QR solution? No, 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 no. We will be checking. I'll keep you updated what the problem is, was, so, but I'm sure it's an easy fix. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully we can stream with this uh, tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have the time today to actually take a look at that. Uh, but if I do, maybe we'll do a stream with this tomorrow. Hey, what is with the grizzle wheel road rally race, huh? Taking longer than the VRS wheel. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you all in tomorrow's stream, I guess. Hopefully. If not, I'll be very sad. You, you don't want that, right? I need to I need to see what's going on with the stupid roadcaster though. Ah, uh, YouTube. How do I end the YouTube stream? <laughs> Yes, if you want to build one, join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. We have a channel dedicated to the build where we can help each other organize group buys to get better prices, stuff like that. So if you're interested in making one, make sure to join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. Yeah, but that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all next one. Bye bye. And there we go.